Okay, here we go. We're actually up to the last one, so we're almost finished. Can we sprint to the end? Let's see what we can do. Let's get straight into it. This promises to be exciting. So, um, so we looked at list last time, and now we can have a look at lists that can be constructed from strings. Um, so, list will. So, if we create a list from hello, it actually separates it into the um, a list of characters. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, if we've got a line of text, we can actually split that, and that will actually split it into hello and world. So that's pretty cool. So um, let's have a look at that. So hello world. So really useful. So if we want to, we can split it on an arbitrary thing. So if you download a data file and you want to split it on a comma or a tab, you can actually do that. So um, that one splits on a uh, colon. Um, so here's another way to do it. We can actually join. So if we um, join, so we can have a list of values and then we can join them and we can output them like that. Uh, and we can actually join, um, join a list with an empty string or a string of more than one character. So we can actually join it with um, a dash. So, and we can count them, so we've seen that before. So, how many colors do we have there? So, we've seen all that before, so let's get on to this. No cheese, please. So, you're working in a sandwich shop and you need to be careful of the allergies and tolerances. Um, so, I don't know what they're allergic to, just allergic to cheese, but if it's hard cheese, it doesn't have any lactose in it. The harder the cheese, the less lactose. So, soft cheese like bre um, breeze and stuff, lots of lactose, not so like hard cheeses, not so much like this. There you go, random fact of the day. So, we input and we're going to input with a pipe character and we're looking, um, we're going to output anything that does not contain cheese. So that's pretty cool. So here's another one with a very cheesy sandwich. So cheese spread, mac and cheese, and it's only going to be an egg and lettuce sandwich. Like, I'd, yeah. And if there's no toppings left after removing anything, it's just going to go, you want an empty sandwich? So we've got a hint here. It says, try creating a new list for the new sandwich toppings, but only add the ones that don't contain the cheese. So this is no cheese, please. So um, we know how to grab a list of toppings. So we're going to go toppings equals, and we're just going to input and it is toppings, colon, space, end it. Now, let's, um, what are we gonna call the things? Things equals toppings dot split, and we're gonna split it on the pipe character. So we've got toppings dot split, so we've got a bunch of things. Now we're gonna have our new toppings, and we're gonna start off with an empty list there. So like I said, so for topping in things, so for each topping we have in our things, we're gonna say if, cheese not in toppings. So if we don't have cheese, we're going to go new toppings dot append, append our topping. Okay, so um, now what do we want to do? So we've got there and we're going to go if the length of new toppings, I can't type at the moment, so that's a bit awkward. Um, if length of new toppings is greater than zero, we're going to print our pipe character. And we're going to, yeah, we want our pipe character like I've got here. And we're going to join new toppings. Okay, and close that. Else, we're going to print um, you want an empty sandwich. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to grab this as my input data to test, and let's run that. Toppings is that. Let's enter. String object has no. No, it doesn't actually have an attribute. Slipped, slip pit. It's split. Now, once again, you're thinking you've done ten of these. You should be better than that. Not making typos, but typos happen. So let's. We've got those. Ham, lettuce, sliced cucumber, tomato, and let's just test the mac and cheese one because we're just being thorough. Egg and lettuce, that's what we expected. And blue cheese and cheese spread, last one to test. You want an empty sandwich. You want an empty sandwich. Let's mark that and see how we go. All test pass. Awesome. So that wasn't too bad. That, um, like, there's a couple of things that, like the, this might be a bit confusing for people. So what that's doing is we're joining our list and we're joining it with the pipe in between them. Um, like, and that was seen here, joining with Nothing, so like run them together or put something in between them. So that was something that might be a bit confusing. So we're going to move on. We're going to look at um, when using a split. Um, we're going to have a look at it. It's important to remember that um, you give it a string and it creates a list of strings. So sequence equals input numbers. Sequence equals. So it puts out that. If we try to do maths, guess what? It won't work because that is a string. Like a, it's a characters. So 23. Don't understand a two and a three plus whatever. So how do we convert? It, we can go int. I remember how to do this. So I convert it to an integer. Let's see if that will work. Enter number six, oh, six, eight, four, 
8, 16, so that's 6 plus 10 is 16, so that works. So sequence equals number, split, so yeah, so we can actually convert them that way. Int doesn't change anything by itself because it only converts it unless we convert it to a new number, so it does not add or change the original sequence, so that's a bit tricky. So let's have a look at the next one. Okay, you're having a dinner party. We want to know how many people are, are, are attending. We've got lots of RSVPs. Write a program which reads a list of RSVPs and where each RSVP is a comma separated number of how many people are attending. These numbers are larger than one um, since one invitation might be sent to a family. So there's examples. Um, there will always be more than one person attending a dinner party. Start with a total equals zero. Then for each RSVP, add it to like this. Total equals total. Okay, so let's, well, let's do what they say. But RSVP, RSVP please. Okay, so it says total equals zero, so we've started with that, so um, we know how to grab uh, this, so we're going to go um, RSVP equals input RS, RSVPs colon space end that off, okay um, count or no, we're going to call this two count because we're going to count them, equals RSVP dot split, not slip, like we did before and we're going to split it on a comma so that's going to work. Uh, we've got our total, and we go for count in to count. So we're getting the individual ones. We're going to go total, and I'm going to say plus equals total. And you're going, what? Are you crazy? They said to go total equals total plus five. Well, that's just a shorthand way of writing that. And that, like, I like writing that, but um, you could write it either or. So total equals plus equals total. Um, well, here and plus equals count, so I'll fix that up. Total plus equals count, so that's that one. So so what that's saying is take this value, add it onto the total total, and assign it over there. So, um, so we've done that, so that should give us the, t that should cycle through, and then we're going to go print total plus, oh, that's gonna be a string or what? Um, oh, we gotta do something there, that's gonna be, that's gonna throw an error. So but let's just finish this line of plus 10 is, full stop. Okay, so we're gonna fix up a couple of things here, count, it needs to be an integer, so we need to convert count to an integer, and we need to output that total as a string. So let's go. <coughs> so RSVPs, if this comes out 27, I'm going to think that's okay. So copy and paste that. 27 attend is ATT. I need to fix the spelling up before I fix it. So run, run, enter 27, let's mark it. Is it going to do it? All tests pass. So that's pretty cool. So we can split and count using the integer. So that's that, and we learned, and I just showed you how to actually do a little bit of shorthand. Okay, oh, a number line. Um, so this is our number line. We can use turtle like a number line. Turtle starts at zero in the center, and we can move it forward or backwards. So negative numbers move it um, left. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we just use grid coordinates. If you're not familiar with grid coordinates, um, so we can move stuff around. So it's just two dimensional. So uh, writing coordinates. Coordinates are written x, y coordinate, 5, 4 means 5 and minus 4, so 5, minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 4 is down, 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's there, 5 minus 4, well done. Um, so 5, 4 would be 5 and then 4 up here. Uh, what else have we got? We got minus 1, 3, minus 1 is here and 3 would be here, minus 1, 3, awesome. Um, have a play around with that, um, they are very important. Um, goes up and across, so the highest one would be here and the lowest one would be there. <coughs> So using the coordinates, we can just enter from minus 200 to 200, and from minus 150 to top. So it's 400 by 300. So 400 wide, 300 high. It says steps, and we equate those to roughly a pixel at this stage, well, a turtle pixel. So turtle has a convenient function, go to, um, which will move the turtle to a given area. So we can just go to. So let's think about it. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at this. So enter a x coordinate, 10. Enter a y coordinate, minus 50. And it's just going to draw a line there. Okay. Hendecagon Island, Tharabi Hardies, be Hendecagon Island, Tharabi Treasure, I. It's not International Talk Like a Pirate Day, and I'm, well, I'm maybe past ferry, but I'm not really. And this treasure hidden on this strange 11 sided regular polygon island. Write a program to read in the coordinate of the treasure and draw a big X on the map. To draw the map, move the turtle, so um, to minus 40, 140. So let's see, what do we know? S number of sides equals 11. Start X equals minus 40. Start y equals 140, so I'm just putting the data in that we already know, um, just for a just for um, comment, so this is our data we know. So we've got some information, okay, uh, make sure that it is center and the top side is flat, background color should be wheat, um, 
bg color equals wheat outline so map outline color equals settle brown um, uh, map pen size equals four um, each side should be 80 long so island side length equals 80 and what else so x color equals red and the arms so x length equals 20 so <coughs> so we, what do we need to do we need to enter the coordinate so start off with um, start here so um, come up coordinates equals oh guess what I've forgotten to do I'll do it now while I remember so from import everything from total import everything so we've got all that um, what else do we need let's um, 11 so the angle is going to equal and we did this before 360 divided by number of sides so that will give us what's oh, 360 divided by number actually I'm going to change that to number of sides so just to avoid confusion no sides could be there's no sides ah zero uh, okay uh, do, 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 start here so let's set the map up um, yeah bg color and we've got to watch our spelling bg and i spelt it o-u-r so i wouldn't accidentally um, do it so pen color is uh, map outline color okay is map outline color and pen size is map pen size map pen size how's that look um treasure coords equals so we're going to get um the place where we're going to start next so treasure coordinates equals um where do, what do i need to ask enter your treasure coordinate so I'll copy and paste that so it's an in input oh i need to input space and close it and i'm going to go call oh, uh, the coords coordinates so we've still got two of them equals treasure coords treasure coords dot split and we're going to split it on a comma okay so this is looking so we've got that we've got our coordinates and i'm going to say x position equals integer of and we're going to take the first um, value is our x coordinate and our y position equals int and our second so x so x x position and x y position so we've got a starting position um we've got our x position and we're going to draw the what's it called it is a hen something 11 sided so it's a, one of these draw our okay so let's go pen up go to and we know our go to start x start y so that's going to move us to the beginning so let's put our pen down and four i in range and it's number number of sides so for i in number of sides we're going to go forward by island side length and we're going to turn right by angle so that will draw that let's draw our x now draw x now our x start and y are these so we'll go pen up and we're going to go to what are we going to go to x x position x y position so that's the where, center of the x um what else do we have to do uh, pen size map outline red so x color so we're going to go pen color pen color is x color and what else do we want we got pen size is how i actually put the x in the um total width of eight so i haven't x equals eight so let's have a look pen size is x x width so we've got all that and let's go pen down okay so so we've gone to our x and y we all right so if we have a look at our map so we jump here so we're going to turn i'm going to turn up here we're going to go up back we go back here and we'll just yeah we'll just do it that way so like we could go we could work out jump to move back jump to and do it that way but i'm just going to draw it so 
um, right, <coughs> 45. So this, again, this is kind of all the way opposite of how I've done the rest of it because, yeah, um, right 45, forward, and we've got x length. Um, what do we want? Forward minus x length. So that should, 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 will be there. So we can move there and then we'll just do it again. So for, well, we can go, we could just go too, but forward. So it takes it back to the middle, and then we're going to go right 90, forward x length. Now, that minus 1, that's, I'm going to go minus 2 times, because we're up there, we're only 20, we'll take this, so, um, and then forward minus 2, minus 2 times x length. <coughs> and that should take us back there. That's, Mm, let me think about that. Yep, that's quite a bit of code. Um, haven't tested any of it. So if we enter that, we should get no typos yet. So that's good. Got. Okay, yeah, there's a typo, so we'll fix that up. So this is the fun bit of programming. You write a lot of code and you find all the mistakes that you made. So let's have a look at that. Uh, for, for, yeah, typo. <coughs> that looks pretty close, let's have a look. All test pass, so that is awesome. Now I'll show you one thing that we can also do, is we can actually go speed zero, which when I run it, it'll go boom. <laughs> so speed can be zero to 10, um, zero being infinite, 10 being the fastest, or well, next fastest, so there you go, so that's passed. So, and our last one that we're going to do, um, let's have a look at this, city Scotland.